Hello friends, it's Rachel Archelais here. Welcome to my channel. Hello love. You can subscribe if you would like to and hit the bell if you want to be notified when we have a new video. I want to talk about vibration today and break it down so that it's super simple. Because I hear all the time, you just have to match the vibration of what you want and then you can have it. And it seems so simple. And it is, but only if we know how our vibration works and how we can change it. And that's the part that can be a little tricky. So we're gonna break it down. First of all, everything is vibrating. Everything is energy. I'm energy, you're energy, my table is energy, my phone is energy, and it's all just vibrating in its little corner, making itself. It's attracting its own particles so that it becomes something physical. And so it has its own vibration, and if it lost its vibration, it would literally disappear. Same with us, right? We are mostly non-physical and offering a vibration to be that, but part of us is offering a vibration to be here and physical and have organs and systems and stuff like that. All of the things that you can feel like emotions are a specific vibration that you can align to. If you think of right now, like, what does the vibration of fun feel like? I start to feel a bit lighter, like energetic, like I wanna get up and do something. If I think about the vibration of sadness, it's the opposite, it's like an inward feeling. I don't really like it, right? We can align to different vibrations. And that's awesome. And that's how we can align with what we want. And if we can do that, then we absolutely can find the vibration of what we want and align to it. So if you think about something that you want right now, like maybe you want more freedom. More freedom and a life that supports freedom, right? A life that feels free. If you think about freedom, like what does the vibration of freedom feel like? Ooh, it feels expansive and happy and relaxed and go, you know, whatever else goes with it for you. So we can obviously align to specific vibrations. It's not even hard if you're already in the realm of that. If you're really depressed, aligning to freedom might be really difficult. But if you are super duper happy, aligning to misery might be really, really hard. So it's much easier to align to a vibration that's in the vicinity of where you already are. Using a ladder, like doing it one step at a time, if you're trying to get to a specific vibration, is really great. Now we're gonna talk about resistance. Because if aligning to a certain thing is so easy, why aren't we all doing it more, <laughs> right? If it's so easy, just align to what you want and you'll get it, it'll become physical for you. Why isn't that happening? Like why aren't bags of money falling from the sky and people are healthy and all this kind of stuff? It's because we resist. And there are a lot of ways that we resist. One is by having like a belief system that's running in us that we're not even aware of usually. That's contrary to what we want. So we don't believe that money bags can fall from the sky. You might believe that it's hard to manifest money. And if you believe that it's hard to manifest money or to make money or to inherit money or whatever, then that belief is in opposition to what you want. And how you overcome that is by aligning more. So your alignment supersedes that belief or just by making your general alignment above that belief. A lot of times we're just not aware of how much we notice where we are, how much we reinforce those beliefs in us that aren't serving us by watching the news or listening to people talk about how it's hard to make money or not everyone has money or all these things. The best way that I have found to overcome that is through meditation, like daily meditation, not long, 
10 to 20 minutes. I just listened to white noise for that time. And by literally withdrawing from all the things that don't feel good as much as you can, right? If you can notice how you feel, it's a ladder. Like if we want to feel freedom, but we're down here, if we notice how we feel when we're in different circumstances, we can probably weed out some of the things that aren't helping us get here. And it's not about making anyone else wrong. No one is wrong. It's just you know where you want to go, right? If you've got friends who are going to Florida, but you want to go to California, you're going to have to diverge at some point, right? Maybe you're going to go the southern route with them and then hook over into Georgia. But at some point, you're going to go to different places because you want different destinations. So that's all it is. Noticing how you feel and where you're vibrating. Is it where you want to be? Is it close to where you want to be? How do you get to where you want to be? You feel better and you make those choices that help you feel better. It's just about getting clear that if what you want in your life isn't there, if it hasn't manifested, there is some resistance happening. You didn't do anything wrong. Nobody does anything wrong. It's just a fact. It's just in there. And it's usually perpetuated by what we're surrounding ourselves with and what we're allowing ourselves to feel. And so breaking free from that as much as you can, meditation, noticing how you feel in different circumstances, and just arranging your life in a way that makes you feel better, doing some appreciation work, noticing all the things that are great in your world, putting your focus on what you do like, on what you do love about your life, just changing the focus, focusing on what you want, because that helps you feel better is going to bring you in the direction of where all the things you've already asked for can show up for you because you're finally in the vicinity of their vibration. Let me know if this makes sense. If you want some clarification, you're probably already living this so much, like this isn't new to you, but I find it's helpful because we're always vibrating, right? Always, we're, we're, we can't not vibrate, we are vibration and if you don't see what you want in your world, it's just because there's some some resistance somewhere and we can overcome that just by noticing how we feel, choosing to feel better, by aligning to that specific vibration on purpose, by meditating, etc. Noticing what's great around us already. All things that change our focus onto what we want and we want that ratio to be higher than what we don't want. See more of what you do like and appreciate less of what you don't and things will really change quickly, right? That's how it works. Okay guys, super, super love. I'll talk to you soon, bye.